post-digital life hack, we're going to be giving you a can't-miss call from the Kim Commando Show that just lit up our weekends. You've seen those Facebook quizzes. You know, the ones that promise to reveal your spirit animal or which pizza topping you are. Here's a quick heads up before you click start on your next one. Your privacy could be at risk. Many of these quizzes get access to your personal information or even your friend's details. We're talking your name, birthday, email, and your friend's list. Why would a quiz to figure out your aura need all that info? The companies behind them are probably going to use your data for purposes you never agreed to, like pushing targeted ads your way or selling your information to third parties. That's not even the end of it. If a quiz starts asking for the name of your first pet, the street you grew up on, or your favorite teacher, alarm bells should ring. Those answers are gold for anyone looking to crack your password security questions. So think twice about the info you're sharing. Your privacy seems to be always at risk. Hey, try my new daily video stream about all things digital. It's a ton of fun at youtube.com slash Kim Commando. Okay, as promised, here's a standout call from my show. Brandon in Spokane Valley, Washington. Hi there, Brandon. Hi, Kim. Love the show. Thanks for having me today. You betcha. What's going on? Well, I've been kind of exploring about some GPS tracking on my work vehicles. Uh, you know, increase efficiency, help me do uh, mileage billing for my customers, insurance discount, that sort of thing. But mm-hmm. I was looking for something simple. I know they have ones that, like, plug into the OBD2 scan port on the vehicle. That way they can stay charged. It might be easy for guys to unplug them and bring them into the office. What I don't want to have or I don't need is, like, a live feed on that. I don't need to be able to check in all the time. But these things carry a yearly subscription. I'm trying to figure out how to get away from that. Um, you know, there's a couple of ways for you to do this. How many vehicles do you have? Like five. Like five? Okay. Um, you know, a simple, easy way would be just to bop an air tag in each of the cars. Have you thought of that? Uh, not really. Yeah. So I would, so the Apple air tags, you buy four for 89 bucks on Amazon. Uh, and so I would, I actually have an air tag in each of my cars. And so you can put it under the seat. You can put it, don't put it in the glove box. That's the first place where everybody looks to find them. Okay. Okay. Uh, or on the center console. So you can tuck it in under the seat. Uh, now keep in mind that if somebody else has an iPhone, that they're going to get a notification that says there's an unknown air tag near okay. you. Uh, A lot of people, what they recommend is that if it's going to be on vehicles where you think that that may be an issue, uh, and I'm I'm not giving this out in case you're a stalker, because obviously you're not, is what they do is they put the AirTag somewhere in the engine itself uh, with some duct tape. And so this way, the AirTag will always stay there, but people don't know enough to look in the in the engine if they look in the engine it's going to be really hard to find something the size of a quarter that has that has been duct taped over but the beautiful thing about that is that it doesn't cost you anything okay okay uh i mean it costs you that one time but there's no ongoing subscription you do get real time tracking uh okay. you know and as far as you know being able to go back in time it doesn't necessarily do that but if that was something that you would want, there is another product. It's going to cost you 150 bucks, uh, called the Track It GPS, and that's Track It. It's T R A K K I T GPS. The Track It GPS. Okay. And it's about 150 bucks. There's no monthly fee. There's no subscription. Um, it uh, uses Wi-Fi to communicate, so you don't need cell phone service. But it does do GPS real-time tracking, logging, and reporting. And so you can, uh, so it records all this. And then once in range of Wi-Fi, that's when it uploads all the data. Oh, great. So if I wanted to explore more with the AirTag, is that something that's exclusive to Apple? Because I'm, you know, I'm an Android user. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know why we let you on the show. Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. Come on. <laughs> um, Android, you're going to look at a tile tracker. Same thing. Okay. Yeah. So apples, okay. apples for apples. Uh, I mean, Apple Air Tags for Apple. Uh, tile trackers for Android. Samsung also makes their own. And then, if you think that maybe you need more than that, take a look at that Track It GPS again. That's T R A K K I T 
GPS. And if you need any help afterwards, Brandon, I'm your gal. I'm right here for you. Hey, huge thanks for tuning in, folks. And if you've got a question that's burning a hole in your brain, just drop me a line. Head over to commando.com with a K, of course, and tap email Kim. Yes, I do read every single question. Now, for tech insights you can't afford to miss, grab my free daily newsletter over at getkim.com.